Welcome back to Learn BC. Please click like and subscribe. Uh, we're here talking about the inventory posting group. So let's get started. So as we continue to master the video series about posting and now our crazy diagram that we've drawn for you, we've been talking about the general posting setup and the tax posting setup, but right now we need to talk about the inventory posting setups and how it works. So as we start off, we start off with an inventory posting group and that is tagged against the item cart. Now this is like a, a posting group that you would have seen up here tagged against the customer or a vendor, but now you're getting tagged against the item. Now this is super important, okay? Because from here it flows up to the document, okay? And a little bit of a trick at the end here I'll show you to do with what it's using to match to find its location but the same flow works through that when you post from a document let's say that it's a, uh, a sales invoice purchase order purchase invoice uh, when it gets to a posted document she's going to make her way through to the inventory posting setup and based on the relationship with the location it will determine where your assets are posted to let's go have a look at what we're talking about here in business central all right in bc we're going to search inventory posting group the inventory posting group is um look when we do inventory that's basic inventory, we'll still have an inventory posting group and we'll call it inventory, okay? Um, and generally speaking, our clients will have, may have multiple locations, but they'll keep it simple. But here you can see a scenario where it'd be interesting. Why would we have different inventory posting groups? Well, one could be raw materials, purchase materials. Um, you could have manufactured goods or finished goods so there's a couple of different reasons there you could have um, goods for field goods for um, shop you could and, and what it will do is as you get into the setup based on the location for these finished goods if I've got multiple locations you'll see here that I've got different codes I can use for my inventory, my whip, my material variance, capacity, overhead, manufacturing, um, variance accounts, etc. So there's there's the same matrix is starting to form. And again, let's just clear this code here and have a look. And so as you can see, you start to get a matrix that enables you to have growth while still maintaining and tracking data on your general ledger in a informative way that's going to complement what you're wanting to achieve for a business. So remembering that every location must have a inventory posting group and um, for it to succeed. All right, it's, it's a fundamental and it's the two things that come together and when they're together, they create the outcome within the invent, uh, inventory posting setup. And again, that determines where your inventory sits on your chart of accounts. Well, I think that does it for inventory posting groups. Thank you. Subscribe, like. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.